Where did everybody go? Oh, there you are. I thought you'd all run away from me. No. We thought we should sit down. It was getting quite hot there. You can tell us about Sek. What is it about? Okay, just a minute. Waiting for the phone to finish loading. Uh, finish loading. Back in the day, I could recall everything from my mind. We didn't have these phones to help us. I was very smart. I knew everything. Since you know everything, Grandpa, why don't you tell us what Zek stands for? Zek. Zak. That's a... Zanu... No. Zimbabwe... Oh, stop teasing him already. Tell him. He doesn't know. Oh, I just have some bad memory these days. Probably some bad sectors in my brain. I just... You just need a minute to finish nodding. Never mind. Please go ahead. Tell us what it stands for. It stands for Zimbabwe Anti-Corruption Commission. I knew there was a Zimbabwe somewhere in there. Shush! Zak is an institution that combats corruption and crime. I love it. Tell us more about this sick. It's Zek. Right, right, Zek. Its main functions are to investigate and expose cases of corruption in the public and private sector, which includes theft, misappropriation, abuse of power, and other improper conduct in the sectors. Interesting. <laughs> I bet it doesn't go after any government big wigs. They are the most corrupt in this country. Shush. You are wrong. According to Zach, it also promotes honesty, financial discipline, and transparency in both sectors. What other functions does it have? The commission has the mandate to educate us, the members of the public, on the effects of corruption. It also assists in formulating policies or practices to tackle corruption. Ah, uh, okay. What kind of practices have already been implemented? This past September, Zach developed and launched a mobile application, which allows the public to report corruption anonymously. So you mean to tell me Zek actually considers complaints from ordinary folks like us? That's exactly right, Grandma. The commission receives and considers complaints from members of the public. Wow, that one is a winner. There's more. Zek also makes recommendations to the government and other persons on measures to enhance integrity and accountability, preventing proper conduct in the public and private sectors. So what kind of crime or corrupt activities do we report there? All sorts of crimes, uncle. Could be any crime. Grandpa, you know everything. Give us an example. Gold. Gold smuggling. What else? Misappropriation of public funds. And abuse of office. So, Grandpa, we've learned about corruption and its effects and how we can report corruption. And we know where to report it. Is there anything else you still want to know? Well, I think it really helped your uncle and grandmother. As I already knew everything you talked about. So, eh, maybe these guys have questions. Not me. Thank you, my dear, for the engaging lesson about the Zimbabwe Anti-Corruption Commission. You're welcome. Class dismissed. Well, it's been good chatting with you people. I best better get back to the funeral now. Yeah, sure. I might as well join you. Instead of discussing football and beer there, educate others as well. <laughs> I'm not making any promises. <laughs> <laughs>